Hey guys, it's Kambi. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use CV2 Haltars. But before I do, go ahead and go over to my profile. If you find my tutorials helpful, hit the support button or use code Kambi in the store. It really helps me out. And I will continue to do more tutorials. If you have any tutorials that I have not done that you want to see, also feel free to just type that in in the comments. Thanks, and let's uh, yeah jump right in. All right, so the first thing we'll do is just take out our maker pen and we'll go to palette. I'm just going to type in Haltar and you'll see that there's a few beta chips that have come out. We'll spawn in the base right down here. We'll also spawn in a few of these buttons. First, we'll hit the play button. We'll want the pause button. We'll want the resume button as well as the projector stop and lastly we're going to take the Haltar recording constant all right so now that you have your Haltar projector and you have your Haltar recording and we have some of these different cb2 chips set up let's go ahead go over and hit configure to the Haltar recording and we'll go to the Haltar recording menu there we go. All right, so just so you know, th this only works in bean body. There's, they haven't yet released this for full body. So if if you're wondering why I'm a hot dog, yes, that, 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 is, that is the reason why. All right, so let's go hit start. It's gonna give us a countdown to prepare us. Keep in mind I'm in screen mode, so my dance moves are going to be pretty horrendous, but we'll just do recording. Um, the good thing you'll notice the red bar at the bottom is going up slowly, which means we have more time to record our holotars than we have been able to previously, but you do not have to record for the entirety of the holotar when we're done just doing our little dance. Do, 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 do. We could just go ahead, hit done. It, you could see all the different recordings that you have. For me personally, I'll probably just take out the end when I was trying to hit the done button. You could preview it if you want first, but I'm not going to get too crazy about it. Let's go ahead and make sure you hit save. If you don't hit save, it's not going to save it. And we're going to actually detach this Holotar projector chip so that way we can see our Holotar projector. We'll move it over and it won't move over the chip. And let's add a couple buttons. So the first button that I'm going to add will say play. This will be the play button. We'll just clone this over a few times. And I think you know where this is headed. The second one will be stop. So we have our four buttons. Now in order to get this projector running, we'll want to take our Haltar recording and just hook that up to the Haltar projector as well as our Haltar play. And we'll take the Haltar projector, this is just the object itself, and link that up to our targets um, for all the other buttons as well. And for our play button, when we press the play, we want it to play. When we press the stop button, we want it to stop. When we press the pause button, which I completely misspelled, and that's gonna annoy me. All right, so when we press the pause button, it'll pause. And when we press the resume button, it'll resume. All right, let's test this out and see how it works. So if I hit play, there we go, we, ha we have myself, I turned my volume off so you, you can't hear me just mumbling. But yeah, so this is, this is my projector. If I hit stop, it'll just turn it off completely. If I go back to play, it's gonna restart it. If I hit pause, it'll pause it mid recording, hit resume, it'll actually continue the recording. Uh, pause resume, pause, resume. And if I hit stop, it's just going to restart at the beginning. So now that we know the basics, there's a few more things that 
you guys could play around with if you configure the Haltar uh, projector. You can make it always face the viewer. All right, so if I go over here and I turn around, it's gonna follow me, which is kind of creepy. If I go back, I don't. I actually don't want that to happen. So let's uncheck that. You could also change the scale of the Haltar. So do you want it to be gigantic? Or do you want it to be mini, mini B? You know what, we're just gonna change this manually. Let's change it to 0.5. And, you know, it's still not small enough. I really want a mini, mini B. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So this is 0.1. It looks so cute, look at that. Is that not cute? All right, let's change that back. Let's be reasonable here. Um, you could also do, the vertical offset, how, how, how high you want it um, versus the projector base. Um, do you want it to loop? So do you want to keep keep it continuously looping? So when it finishes the recording, it restarts at the beginning. What do you want your volume to be? What channel do you want it to be on? 2D audio, which would be everyone hears it or 3D, which would be depending on where you are in the room. If you're closer, you'll hear it. If you're further you won't hear it and lastly synced so do you want everyone in the room to see it or once one person presses it or do you want only the person who presses it to see it so those are the basics now let's just have a little bit of fun all right so i'm gonna go ahead spawn a rotator and spin myself around you could also animate the actual haltar bases itself to move them around wherever you so please but this is just Again, just one fun example of something you can do. Uh, so let's go ahead, spawn a rotator. And we'll place this right here. And we'll go ahead. We're going to actually clone this three more times. The first one we'll put over here. And we'll just turn it around. And then we'll just select these two, clone them, and just rotate them 90 degrees. Okay, so we have our four projectors. Now we'll also need to duplicate all these chips uh, three more times as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. All right, we'll take these projectors, we'll link them up, same thing we did before, and just bring them over. It's important to be clean with everything that you create so it's easy to follow, because once they start moving, it's going to be really hard to keep track of. All right, now we're gonna use the same recording for all these projectors, so we'll just go ahead and do the same thing and link it up. And we'll just link up each of the projectors to themselves. All right, and lastly, we'll want to say when we play the first projector, we'll play the second, the third, and the fourth, and then same with all the other buttons because we want to have them synchronized. But in a moment, I'll also show you if you do want to have a delay in between each of the recordings, like say you want one to go off, then the next to go off, you could just, you could just put a delay chip in between these. All right, so we went ahead and brought all of our chips and haltars into the rotator hierarchy. So if I click on rotator, you'll just see that we have all of our haltars in there and I just copied over the chips. We don't have anything that's currently linked to these red executions. So what we'll want to do is configure the rotator chip and we'll add another port group and we'll just call this Altar menu and we'll add four inputs and they'll all be executions 
and they're gonna be the same button that we had before. It'll be play, stop, pause, and resume. And we'll say when these get triggered, when it's play, we wanna play, when it's pause, we wanna pause, when it's stop, we wanna stop, and when we resume, we wanna resume. All right, there we go, let's exit out. All right, we just edited out, now let's connect our buttons. So we'll connect each of these buttons. So the resume will go over here to the resume, pause to the pause, stop to the stop, play to the play. All right, so if we hit play, it'll play. Stop, stops, and pause. We'll just pause it, and now we're just mid-motion, and resume, we'll resume it. So again, you could just have fun and play around with these buttons, or you could just have them all go off at once. I don't know, it's kind of silly, and it's pretty awesome at the same time. All right, so if you guys found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit my support code. You could either type in combi in the store, or you could just go ahead and go over to my profile and just click support. It really helps my channel growth and helps me to do more tutorials. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I expect a lot of funny TikTok videos and a lot of YouTube videos, but otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.